Well, this is a story that a lot of you have been talking about. A Minnesota pilot caught with a loaded gun while trying to pass through Florida airport security. Carla Holt breaks down what happened and what the rules are when it comes to pilots. A Friday night airport security scare, this time caused, according to police, by a pilot. According to the police report, the Sun Country pilot was going through a security checkpoint at Southwest Florida International Airport in Fort Myers when screeners found a loaded gun in his carry-on luggage. According to the report, it was found right in the second zipper pouch on the front of the suitcase. Police say the pilot did have a conceal and carry license in Minnesota, but that license isn't valid in Florida, which means his flight was rescheduled, the pilot arrested, and passengers forced to ask questions. And the pilot to carry a gun through security is completely ridiculous. We checked with the TSA today. They would not comment on the specifics of this case. But according to the TSA website, pilots who undergo 56 hours of training in the Federal Flight Deck Officer Program can become deputized as a federal law enforcement officer. Then they can carry a TSA-approved firearm on board the aircraft. But outside of the flight deck, the weapon must be transported in a locked case. In a statement, Sun Country Airlines said it can't comment on employee conduct, including whether this pilot underwent the required training. The TSA also cannot say whether the pilot is an authorized federal flight deck officer. But a TSA spokeswoman today did say even this program would not allow a pilot to, quote, bring a firearm to the security checkpoint in a carry-on bag. Which brings us to that Sun Country pilot himself. We left a message for the man who lives in Minnetonka and have not heard back. A spokeswoman with the Florida State Attorney's Office says she expects prosecutors will file charges, including one count of carrying a concealed weapon in about a week.